What's up, guys? My name is Mudcat132, and uh, I'm coming to you live from my bathroom. Uh, you probably can't really tell, but whatever. And um, today I'm going to be showing you, uh, I'm going to be just giving some highlights off an article I read about Battlefield Back Company 3. And, um, 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 no, uh, this is the second take I've done at this commentary because the first time I did it, I didn't have a shirt on. Oh, yeah, that was sexy. So, I'm just redoing it here, you don't care. Um, but anyway, so starting it off, um, it says, um, everybody knows how once you get to level 22 or whatever, you got no more unlocks or whatever, so a lot of people just quit the game then. And, uh, I did too. Well, I'm level 28 now, but I've had the game since it came out, but I just quit doing it just because it was nothing really to work for. But every now and then I'll strap some C4 to the front of a car and run it into a tank and blow everybody up and get hate messages, because that's awesome. But, um, anyway, I need to shut up. But, yeah. Um, and then it says, and then it talks about, uh, the guy's having player identity, but then he says, no, um, if they have player identity, it's gonna, like, screw something up, I don't remember what it was, but, um, but there will be a lot of different more characters that will have a lot more, in multiplayer, they'll have a, this is all multiplayer crap I'm talking about. Anyway, sorry. There's gonna be, um, more ah! there's gonna be like different multiplayer characters like there's gonna be like two or three types of medic looking characters like US Army medics or whatever stuff like that just I don't really care about that though I don't care if everybody looks the same but whatever and then there's gonna be um four classes again that's what it says four classes or uh, riflemen Engineer, medic, and scout. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I love that. You know, Call of Duty 4. Uh, Call of Duty 4. I'm an idiot. Uh, Bad Company 2. And it says hardcore mode's coming back, and there's going to be some extra stuff in it, but it doesn't uh, show what it's, uh, I mean, it doesn't say what it's going to be like. Or it just says they're going to add a lot of extra stuff in it and that's really it but it doesn't say what it's going to add so um yeah oh and it also says it's going to be released sometime during the holiday season again so we're going to have to wait a whole year for that well i don't mind i'm gonna still be playing black ops and home front when it comes out and by the way speaking of home front um i'm gonna go i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna get my capture card my new one my old one broke. I'm getting my new capture card sometime in about 10 days. And I'm going to do a full uh, home front uh, single player campaign review. And so if you want to see that, go and subscribe. But anyway, got off talking. Talking topic. Um, it says that they're, they're going to change uh, just from big squads being four players to like higher it didn't say because um a lot of you guys out there I uh, normally roll with six eight people and of course you had to get into separate squads which is never fun but um uh, of course I never experienced that I don't really have a lot of friends who play the game but whatever and well I know that's good news for a lot of you guys out there and it says that they have the, and it's talking about theater mode, it says they have a, the ability to do it, but, I mean, they, they're looking into it, it's more likely going to be into the next battlefield or whatever, if they're going to put it in, that's basically what it's leading up to, and it says it's going to be co-op, it doesn't say that this is going to be like online multiplayer, if it's just two players split, split screen. Um, just co-op, and it doesn't say if it's going to be on the regular campaign missions or not. Yep. Um. It says it's going to be kill cams again, even though a lot of snipers 
lying about the kill cams or whatever. So, um, yeah, if you're a good sniper, um, I don't, I'm not very good, but I'm smart enough to know that after I kill two or three people that it's a good idea to move unless I want to get a grenade shoved up my butt and whatever. So, yep. And it says prone is coming back. And I know Bad Company 2 didn't have prone, but I didn't really like that. Because they said in battle, that it wasn't going to be in any of the battlefield back, bad companies because either um, because it would make counter sniping more difficult, but I don't care. That's bullcrap. I'm glad they're bringing it back. And, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. The article doesn't go any further, and all my notes have ran out. So, um, uh, just go and check out my other videos. They're going to be recorded with a camera because my capture card broke a couple months ago, but of course now I'm getting my new one, so I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing a lot of Black Ops, a lot of COD 4, all the Call of Duties, except for the first three. Well, actually I will be doing some Call of Duty 3, just in case any of you guys want to see that. Post it in the comments, and like I said, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I'm going to be doing a ton of Homefront, unless the game's crap, but I don't think it's going to be crap, because that game looks awesome. But, um, yeah, guys, if you want to see the single-player campaign and a lot of multiplayer stuff posted, then you can uh, go and click subscribe right there at the top. It only takes two seconds of your time, and I'd really appreciate it. And also, click a rating. I prefer the like, because it also helps my video get uh, seen a lot more, and I'd really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, guys, that's about all I have to say. And, um, this has been Mudcat132. Peace out. That was gay.